Oh my god, okay, this is gonna be the last time I try and shoot this video because every time I mess up and then I'm trying to like be all happy for you guys when I make this video so that you guys can be like happy for, I don't know, five minutes or something, um, but it never works out. So I end up always being all angry and whatever. Um, yeah, so um, this week we are doing Swath and um, this is gonna be all over the place. Um, yeah, I'm posting this on Monday because Amanda's uh, got stuff to do and, you know, we're just, everything's just, woo, whatever, I don't know. So, yeah, I'm on Monday um, and I'm in black and white because I have no makeup on and that's just, no, I wouldn't want to hurt your eyes like that. So, yeah, um, anyways, uh, so I will start off by saying that the sets were awesome. I love the sets, whether they be CGI or real. Um... What else? Uh, the graphics were awesome. There were so many of them, and you know, props to the editors and whoever else who does the CGI. That was that was that was wickedly done. Um, Kristen was beautiful, obviously. Um, there, they cut out a lot of the things that we saw in the trailer. Um, just a lot of the sets and the outfits were different. Um, like there was supposed, to, it was like they were like the same scenes, but. Not really at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I'm sure you guys will understand after you watch the movie and then you figure out, but where did the scene go from the trailer? What? Yeah. Um, they left the end wide open for a sequel. Like, me and my mom walked out of Transformers going, there's definitely going to be a sequel. They left it wide open. And look at it now. Okay. I'm sure there's going to be a sequel. And I also heard that the script writer was um, supposed to be writing a next script or something like that. And that he's supposed to be done in March or whatever. I don't know. So I guess we're going to have to wait till 2014 or whatever for it. If there is a sequel, which sucks. That sucks. Um, yeah. There was a lot of things that were left unanswered. Um, like um, how she woke up when the huntsman kissed her. But when the prince, like, when the prince kissed her, she didn't wake up. Uh, my mom was so lost. She's like, but, but how come he's supposed to wake, but how come the huntsman did, and I was like, yeah, mom, I know, I'm confused too, but I saw it coming. Because as soon as the prince kissed her in the forest, and she wasn't wearing the white dress that we saw in the trailer when she's going, who's with me? Then basically I was like, yeah, it's got to be the huntsman. And then when I saw him in the little room where she's laying on the bed with the fur and she's in the white dress and I was like okay well then the huntsman kisses her and she wakes up basically is what's gonna happen and lo and behold it happens so there we go um I was really sad when Gus dies um but I really like that song that they sang it's called Gone and it's just a really pretty song and it was sad but I really like it and it's really catchy and I start singing it once it gets stuck in my head and I sing it for a long time um uh, I didn't know it was Ravenna, um, who was, you know, fooling around with Snow White or whatever in the forest, um, until Snow White, she, like, pulls out the apple and she eats it, and I'm like, frick, it was Ravenna the whole time, and I didn't even know, yeah, so, um, and then my jaw literally dropped, like, I was literally like, do 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 you know, think about the movie, like, oh man, it's gonna end, but this is such a good movie, and I'm just enjoying every- when she was sitting on the throne at the end of the movie and I was like broski how can she look that gorgeous I just can't fathom it it just doesn't make sense like I can't even bro okay like it just oh my god I was just mom mom and I was like whacking her and she's like yeah I know Tay I know she's she's getting me but not getting me at the same time like obviously she doesn't quite understand but you know she gets that basically I was like freaking look at that gorgeousness right up on the screen and it's like whoosh like all over and I'm just sitting there in like basking in the ambience and the glow of everything and it was just amazing and she just looks so pretty in the dress and the freaking crown and I just couldn't take it anymore so yeah um that was a that was a good scene for me um and that movie scared the crap out of me so many times um, especially when the fireballs flew through the one little village thing, and it was like, whoosh, when she was sleeping, I was like, God, uh, oh, and I was like, freaking out, man, there's so many times, I can't, the two that I remember were the fireball scenes, and then when the arrow shoots into the, I can't remember the name of it, I can't remember if there was a name of it or whatever, um, but, like, the big deery, moosey thingy with the antlers, and it was, like, really majestic and crap, um, but when the arrow shoots in, it's like, ah! And I was like, oh my god, they hit it. And I just 
jump violently. Um, and I usually only jump in theaters, so, you know, like, when we're watching Final Destination at home, my mom's like, God! And I'm like, <laughs> you jumped, oh, that's great. Yeah. Um, I was upset that Chris didn't take his shirt off. I mean, like, the most we got, we saw was when he had his little cut on his chest, and I was like, why didn't you take your shirt off? Mm, gotta go watch Thor when I get home then, fine. Um, and Charlize did an awesome freak out, like, she was just wicked in that movie. Um, and I'm really pissed off when people say that Crescent has no emotion. Um, uh, I was talking about it with my mom, about, you know, how people are still complaining that she had no emotion. You're like, oh, I thought the movie was gonna change my mind because everybody said it would, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then the one thing that, it was, it was kind of, kind of funny actually because I, I just picked up L.U.K. Um, when me and my mom were having that conversation, you know, like while we were talking I was like flipping through the pages and reading here and there. Um, and then just as I was talking about that, I actually right after read um, this these two little quotes. Um, she says, it's a war movie, um, an identity crisis movie. She said, um, basically she goes to jail when she's seven and gets out when she's 18. She's so stunted that she's essentially a child, even though she's already a woman. When she comes out, she's got to save people, but she hasn't experienced anything like they have. She's very isolated. She has all these feelings and doesn't know, really know why yet, and I can relate to that. And, I mean, she has that for a lot of her characters that she chooses to do in films, which is probably why. I mean, like, people don't take the time and they don't really care why her character is a certain way or why she portrays her character a certain way but I mean like obviously us like fans have said this a million times like you know these people who are you know casting directors and stuff like that you know and all these producers and everybody else who's involved in the movie if they thought she couldn't act they would not put her in the freaking movie okay like I don't know I just I don't want to waste my time anymore but that's basically that those two quotes right there basically summed up everything that I need to say ever about any of her characters um and, you know, she's just devoted to everything she does. You know, if she would put all of this, you know, hard work into devoting an accent and devoting this and trying to, you know, get in depth more into all of these characters that she does, then why why would she be such a bad actress, right? Like, it just doesn't make sense if you think about it, but nobody really cares. So I'm not going to try and change everybody's minds about it, whatever they can if they want to. I, I don't know. Anyways, but, yeah, that made me feel better inside. Anyways, whew, that's a lot of talking. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I thought she pulled it off really well, and I'm really excited to see if there is a sequel, because I'm almost positive that they're, well, I'm positive that there should be one, but I'm almost positive that they're gonna make another one, because they just left that wide friggin' open. So, yeah. Um, this week, this week, this week. Okay, so I've been so nervous for all of my exams. I got through my two essays that I had to do for social and English, and that was just don't even want to talk about that. Like, I just want to shoot myself. Um, I still have three more exams. Math, social, English. Those are my comprehensive ones. And I'm just like, please shoot me. That's what I'm studying for now. So I tried to make this video short, but that never really works out, does it? Okay. Um, yeah. So anyways, I had my recital over the weekend. And it would have been fun if it weren't for, like, everything going wrong, basically. Um... I messed up on stage, um, the group before us, before my jazz, um, screamed, uh, like, our old dance teacher's name, who was basically fired from our school, and, um, basically the school got mad at them for doing it, saying that it was disrespectful, and I was like, no, you guys are being disrespectful, because what if they've been working with her since they were five, which is true for some of them, so that made me mad, and I just, was just like, okay, I'm glad I'm not coming back to the school next year, so, yeah, um, yeah, my sister got to watch me dance, and she kept going, when's my turn, when's my turn, and she was so cute, um, and my best friend came with me, and she really liked seeing me dance, and I felt really bad, because I was pissed off for the rest of the day, just because of a bunch of things that happened that day, and that week, and I was just, I felt really bad, um, yeah, it was okay, it was just a shit show, was all it was, so yeah. Anyways, I don't really know if I have anything else to think, to talk about. Um, I've been looking for Vanity Fair everywhere and Entertainment Weekly. And of course, like, our bookstores only get shipments in, like, once a week. So I'm like, okay, thanks guys, you're so helpful when I want to buy the magazines that I can't. 
Um, yeah, so I don't even remember what I was going to talk about anymore because there's just so many things that race through my mind when I'm making videos. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys have a good week. Be happy, everybody, because it's summer. Um, pray for Sarah because her, um, her, ki her kitty needs surgery, and I feel really bad because, I mean, he's not even that old, and I feel really bad, and it's pitiful. So, um, yeah, just, just wish him luck and stuff like that. And, um, I will talk to you guys later. So, yeah, um, you guys will probably see Maria tomorrow and Amanda on Thursday and yeah so here we go bye